The Metropolitan Police is facing severe criticism over its investigation into allegations of a VIP paedophile ring in Westminster. Former High Court Judge Sir Richard Henriquez has published a report into the 16-month Operation Midland Inquiry, which ended in 2016 without a single arrest. The review said poor judgment and a failure to accurately evaluate known facts led to the investigation of prominent public figures. It claims a major contributing factor was the culture that victims must be believed. It says several failures can only be explained by a disproportionate belief in the witness known as Nick's credibility. Sir Richard said he's in no doubt that the judge who granted search warrants was misled and that if he'd known the truth, the warrants wouldn't have been given. The Deputy Commissioner of the Metropolitan Police has apologised for the force's errors. I'm deeply, deeply sorry for the mistakes that were made and for the ongoing pain that these mistakes have caused. I promise we will do all we can to prevent them happening again in the future. At the time of this, there was a significant amount of pressure on a lot of different public bodies in relation to not taking seriously allegations around this sort of assault. That does not excuse the mistakes that we made in these circumstances, but I think it explains some uh, of what went on and some of the thinking that we had, and it goes back to the issue of belief, I think. Well, joining us now from central London is the Conservative, former Conservative MP Harvey Proctor, who was falsely accused of abuse by Carl Beach. Hello to you, uh, Mr Proctor. Uh, it's been a long time coming, this report, hasn't it? Or what's your reaction to it? Good afternoon. It has been three long years since the abridged version of Enriquez was published by the Metropolitan Police on the 8th of November 2016 on American Presidential Election Day in an attempt to conceal the wrongdoing of the Metropolitan Police and certain of their police officers. So, yes, I welcome its production today. A lot of it was to conceal the cover-up that the Met was attempting to make of their wrongdoings. Well, we heard that statement there from the Metropolitan Police saying that they were sorry for the ongoing pain, promised to do everything they can to ensure that this couldn't happen again. But explaining the context of this, the, the pressure on public bodies at the time to take allegations of sexual assault seriously, d does that go any way to allowing you to move on? No. While they have been using weasel words to apologise to me for what they have done, their lawyers have consistently been afraid to settle my just civil action against them for compensation. The Metropolitan Police were negligent and they have lied. And I hope that they will settle shortly, but it has taken quite a long time for them to get near to a settlement. Let's see what happens in the coming weeks as a result of the clear, catastrophic verdict of Sir Richard Enriquez into the Metropolitan Police. What impact did those false allegations by Carl Beach and, and the subsequent investigation into them uh, have on your life, Harvey Proctor? Carl Beach could have said what he wanted on the internet it would be water off a duck's back. The problem was that his incredible allegations were believed by the Metropolitan Police. They described them and him as being credible and true. Even Cresta Dick, the present commissioner, made it clear uh, on radio some two or three weeks ago that her superintendent had misspoke, had made a mistake had not meant what he said. She was the deputy commissioner at the time of Operation Midlands start-up. Yes, Bernard Hogan Howe. What was did the she? What? Did, what? What? Uh, let me let me finish. What did she know from the girl commander Steve Rodhouse of Operation Midland in October and November? 
and when she realised on that 18th of December press conference day in 2014 that they got it wrong, what did she do to put it right? I can tell you in a word, nothing. That and the fact that the policy of Credible and True continued for the Met for nine months meant that the premier police authority in the country believed that I was a serial child murderer. That has been a heavy burden to bear, as I think is well known. As a result of what happened in Operation Midland, I lost my job, my home and my repute. I am not the same man as I was in March 2015. I doubt I ever will be. The Home Secretary has now written to the Chief Inspector of Constabulary asking for a review into the handling of this by Metropolitan Police officers. Does that give you any satisfaction? Well, I welcome the Home Secretary's uh, initiative. Uh, before I make further comment on it, I would wish to see the terms of reference of that inquiry, but that is very much a first step. There needs to be a public inquiry into the um, organisational problems of the Met, its management and its ethics. There ought to be an outside police investigation into the potential criminality of certain police officers involved certainly with the wrongful application for search warrants for my home and office and those of others. Um, many more things need to be done. It's all right for the Deputy Commissioner of the Met to come on the steps of Scotland Yard and answer a couple of random questions and not be fully accountable to the media in these matters, but he has not set out what the learnings for the Metropolitan Police are, or indeed what they've done about it. When I've asked about these matters, I have not had a satisfactory answer as to what they have done or might do. It's really move along here, nothing to see. And by the way, our friends at the IOPC will give us cover for our misdoings. It's a cover-up. The IOPC, and you see this on Monday, by clearing all the police officers involved, when Sir Richard Enriquez has made it clear the Metropolitan Police committed 43 errors in Operation Midland, uh, it is quite clear that they um, are covering up for each other. The IOPC is no longer fit for purpose. And if I say this to you very carefully, to your listeners, to your viewers, if you thought that you've been wronged by a police force, do not think you can go to the IOPC and get justice. Go to your lawyers and sue the police. That's what I would do. Okay. The IOPC should be wound up and a new truly independent police authority to keep the police under control should take its place. Okay, Harvey Proctor, thank you very much indeed uh, for coming on to the program. Thank you very thank much you. indeed. Thank you. Thank you.